we are going to start in the light heavyweight division. And this one, oh, I did not know it was happening, but I mean, I'm glad it is. Can you guess what it is? Yeah, it's Alonzo Menefield. And I've only put him up against William Knight. That's, that's a crazy good fight. Like, when you look at the styles of these two guys, right, it's, it, this is super interesting. Both of them are big guys with good power, right? I would say that William Knight definitely has the edge in power because when you just look at the size of the guy, like his legs are like tree trunks, right? I just re-watched uh, the fight where he, where he beat, where he flatlined um, Fabio Charant in round number one. Uh, little side note, obviously, Alonzo Menefield also beat uh, Fabio Charant. They've, they've got that opponent in common. He submitted him with a Von Fluke choke, or like the OSP choke, whatever you want to call it. The one where, you know, you kind of use your shoulder and, and choke their asses out. But yeah, I mean, it was... A, what was really impressive about it was that he caught Charant. They both threw at the same time, but even though Knight was going backwards... His punch landed with so much power that he just flatlined him. And there is a real power to everything that Knight does. Like his, his leg kicks, his low kicks were really, really, they, they were just hard and nasty. And um, yeah, and there was body kick as well, which landed really nicely. I don't know if, but is it Lonzo Menefield? If Lonzo Menefield's a southpaw, he's in trouble. But either way, it's... This one's going to be a fun one because uh, Menefield is no slouch himself. Menefield is someone that I've had my eye on for a long time. He is just he's got ve he's very impressive. Eleven wins with eight knockouts, and then you've got Knight who has ten wins with nine knockouts. This is going to be a fun fight. Like Joey, on paper, like it's got it's got all of the right criteria. And I think that whilst look, Menefield he is going to have the sight, he's going to have the height, and he's going to have the reach. However, I would say that. Like, Charant had height and reach over Knight as well. But that went horribly. Because Knight has a really great equaliser. Those leg kicks, right? He throws these leg kicks with so much goddamn power, it's kind of ridiculous. And they snap as well. He's got, he's just got, he's, he's surprisingly quick for, for how big he is. Because he is a fucking unit, right? He is a unit. And he's surprisingly quick. And... Like I said, it's just it's just that power differential that I think is going to get him. I, I think because I'm leaning towards Knight in this one. Don't get me wrong. This is a pick 'em fight, really. Do you know what I mean? Like you've got Knight coming in as a slight underdog, and that that's because Menafield is so good. So don't get me wrong. Don't, I'm I'm not saying that Menafield. But I'm not saying I'll be shocked if Menafield wins this fight by knockout or any other means by that matter. But what I am going to go with, I'm going with the knockout for Knight. Because I just think, look, there was so much power, there was so much power in that shot that he caught Charant with, and he's walking backwards, and it's everything he threw just had a ridiculous amount of power in it. I don't get me wrong, Menefield has got power, right? But Knight has that kind of preposterous power, that kind of like, whoa, like stand up and take notice kind of power. And for that reason, I think Alonzo Menefield is going to be taking a nap, and you're getting plus 350 on the knockout for William Knight, and that is, that is, that's a terrible bet, but it's what I'm going with, that's going on the accumulator, so that's my, uh, that's my thoughts on the Alonso Menafield William Knight, um, just a little side note, if you want to catch uh, my thoughts on the main event, that goes up onto my Patreon, which is just up here, go and check it out, it's exclude, you get, you know, extra content, it's a good time, we have fun, and uh, yeah, so go and check it out if you want to see my thoughts on the main event between Rob Font and Jose Aldo.